What you doing? Hey, well, I was just checking out this building right here. Oh, yeah? Checking out the farm? Yeah, I was just checking it out. I haven't been in here yet. Hey, let's run into Tahitian County and uh, take a look around at the progress, see what's going on down there in town. Okay. Tahitian, I guess. Yeah, let's, let's run into town this morning. And uh, is there anything we needed to get while we're in town? A lot more. Oh. Should we uh, put the trailer on, or do we want to stick it in the back? Oh, we can just stick it in the back, can't we? We can try. Think we can get the lawnmower in the back? Uh, it maybe. It's a maybe. We, we can figure what it out. We, we'll get it. All right. Well, we really need to mow this yard. It's terrible. Yeah. Yeah. I know. Oh, I'm back into the yard. Oh, just curious. <clears throat> it's been a while since we've been to town. We've been a little it busy. Has. We have been very busy. We've... A bit off a little more than we could chew back there, but uh, we're doing yeah. good now. So we'll see Way how ahead harvest of the game. goes. I'm a little worried about harvest. Uh, you know, it's a lot of corn. And corn can yield pretty high, so it'll be a lot of trips. Oh, we'll, we'll be figure busy. it out. Yeah. Most of it we're just going to haul to the house here. And I suppose, oh, I can't remember. We planted this field right here by the store first, didn't we? Yeah. And then we planted the field over yonder. Yeah. Second. And then the big piece that we bought, third. Correct. So we'd probably better harvest in that order. Well, I would say so. That's probably about how they're going to be done. Be ready. Mm -hmm. We'll see how it goes. Well, everything's been going well. we got no weeds out there that I can see. That's good. Yeah, we ended up spraying them. It took us a while, but we I think we got most of it taken care of. Yeah. I don't think there's really much more we can do. Just sit and wait until harvest on them. Yep. Which is going to happen here pretty that? quickly. Did you see that guy's got a log cabin? Did you see that log cabin on the right? I didn't see it. Man's Missed got it. a cabin and a and a like a wooden barn to match. It was neat. Well, I think I noticed that the other day when we were transferring equipment. Yeah. To the new place. Oh, we got four hundred and sixty-six thousand dollars in the bank. We can get a pretty nice mower. <laughs> we ain't got to <laughs> skip. We can go with uh, what uh, everyone in the comments. I mean, there are a lot of them. They're Toro. I saw some bad boy. I saw some uh, skag. Um, yeah. I don't even remember. There were a lot of suggestions, a lot of ideas. I saw. Remember somebody said grasshopper, I think? Yep. I uh, saw a grasshopper on there. Yeah. There, there's a lot of options on there. We haven't gotten one. We've just been using the John Deere that we still have. It honestly moves well, pretty good. but It does. But we have to put oil in it every time we use it. We have to put oil in it all the time, and we have to be very careful with the that one... Uh, uh, belt. Belt on it is pretty stretched out. Yeah, the drive belt. But, you know, we've only used that thing 11 years. It only yeah. has, at this point in time, 312 hours on it. Yep, and I know that doesn't sound like much, but for a, a lawnmower like that one, that's a, a lot. A residential lawnmower? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's just, a, it's just a little, what is it, a D140 or something? It's, <clears throat> uh, yeah, uh, something like that's a little John Deere riding lawnmower, not even a zero turn. But honestly, sometimes that's better because we have a lot of h steep hills here, and zero turns don't really like hills. That's so true. In some cases, it might be a little better, but... I don't think that big old building was there before. And now look mm -hmm. at that. We have a park. No, there's all huh. kinds of stuff going on. A lot there's of progress. There's a co-op in just, town. Let's take a cruise around the block here. Looks like that co-op bought the lot there and on this side right here. They've got storage and yeah. stuff here. I see that. Yeah. I don't really know this area very well. This is just the towns. Maybe we should start a lawn care company with our lawnmower. <laughs> Maybe. Where were we going to get a lawnmower at? Want to go to Tratter Supply? Tratter Supply. Good old Tratter Supply. You know, one thing I did notice about everybody, there was a lot of mentions about a Toro. A lot of Toro. A lot of Toro. They have a nice I suspension a on them. Well, yeah. you can get a nice suspension. It's 700 bucks to get it. but. Well, you know... We've had two of them at the other farm, two Toros, and they've yeah. both been pretty good. They have. Until Grandpa gets a hold of them. Yeah, he's a little hard on them. He's pretty hard on them. I was now personally I kind of interested in the Aaron's brand, but nobody said Aaron's. So I was like, oh, 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 okay. Must be a problem with the Aaron's. I don't know. I thought they seemed pretty good. but I guess we're going to go into tractor supply and see what we can buy here, what, shall we? Yeah, I'll just whoop her on in there. Well, it don't look like we have a whole lot of options here. We got a zero turn, or we have a John Deere uh, regular riding. I think we'll just get this zero turn. Sure, zero turn. It's back here. I'll start it. All right. 
Oh, I hear it. Runs good too, don't it? I'm sure. in the truck. Where you at? I won't. I don't want to back over you. Uh, behind. Well, kind of, sort of behind you. Go ahead and just well, plop your tailgate down, maybe. How do you do that? Magic. Um, the unfold button. Unfold button. And uh, luckily, they make these mowers pretty light anymore. Wow. You just pick her up. <laughs> yeah. I gotta see this. <laughs> you got it in there? Oh yeah, she's in there. I'm gonna just pull it forwards to hair more. And strap it down there, there, and there. Okay, you are good. You might be able to put your tailgate up, actually. I'll see. You go up. Yep. Yep. Right. Very good. All right. Check that out. We got a mower. We're gonna be mowing the yard. That's right. It looks like rain out there. So, just a little bit ago, we were uh, driving through town back there, and I was thinking Whoops. to myself, what could we invest a little bit of our money to to get some cash flowing in. Yeah, let's go look at what you're talking about. Well, I mean, I'm just, what are, what are some options that we could invest in to make money down here in town? Because things have really started to pop off. They've started to fill in a lot of these empty plots. We should yes, get in have. on that. Well, if we're going to go into uh, buying crops from farmers, we should have some place where they can socialize and make them feel comfortable. You know, might have to buy somebody a steak dinner. You never know. Well, so you're saying a restaurant of some kind. Well, an eating place. Just a place okay. where they can gather. Gotcha. Well, then we need to be looking around here. Maybe Main Street. Is there any possible place that we could squeeze in a restaurant on Main Street? I don't know. Let's check it out. There's your laundry outlet. Yeah. I'm not seeing anything. It's all pretty full. Mm-hmm. That's part of the parking lot for that dealer there. Yep. No. Okay. Looks like Main Street might be pretty full. What about just at the bottom side of Main Street here? Oh, let's go check it out. You know where your gas pedal is, right? Yeah, I'm using it. I'm trying to learn how to not gas it to 70 miles an hour. <laughs> what do we got going on down here? Gary's. Um, Garrison. There's a park. There's a house with a... I wonder if... How big is that house? Is lot? Is this corner open? Probably not. I wonder if we can buy not. it off of them. There's a park here. And yeah, uh, another park. Do you suppose that house is part of that corner lot? That's what I'm wondering. Probably. It's probably a big lot. Probably. Oh. Oh, that's kind of down out of the way, but that might work. Actually, that might work for a development of some kind. There's a empty piece behind us, but that's down at the edge of this. Uh, the housing and all. I don't know what the zoning is down there, I guess. Yeah. Man, that guy's got a nice garage. Let's just go up yonder here and see what comes about. All right. It's funny. One point in time, we were always talking about, yeah, there's all kinds of opportunities out there to build. Now <laughs> Boom. we're struggling to find a spot. Yeah. I wonder if the co-op would sell off half of their piece here and consolidate. I, I doubt it. I doubt they it, could too. Try. You could always try. Get, a, get in contact with them. Guess we have a new well, place to come get seed and stuff, though, if we need. Yeah. What about over out by the high school more? Do you think we could do that? Oh, maybe. I mean, unless there's a piece. Is this the piece. high school? No, this is the courthouse. High school is oh. uh, behind us on the highway. Yeah, oh, yeah, that's right. We'll run out there. I would just unless curious you saw any those. pieces down here. Well, we haven't been out there's, past tractor supply. Is this an open we? piece? By the fire department to the right? It could be. That looks like a blank pad. That could be. Would that be a decent spot? I wonder. Not a whole lot down here. I think it's just housing, housing, housing. Housing, housing, housing. And we're going to have to pick a left or a right. Pick a left or a right. Because we're going to run off into no man's land. Uh-huh. I see that. Just cruising around to Heaton. I guess we're getting to no town. There's a lot of homes yeah, out here. There is. Oh, we're going to run into a brick wall out there. I think we're going to have to yep, turn left here. I got the power station and an old water tower knocked down. This is the industrial area we're coming up on, it looks like. Yep. The rail track rolling through. Yep. Which is fully functioning and we can use if we ever need and want to. What do we have here? This is a big grass piece. Is this owned by that warehouse or I think maybe? I wonder. Let's find out. Ooh. Oh. Okay. There's a chance. There is a chance that we could uh, purchase this land and build it here. 
Now, the interesting thing is it comes with all of this to the right. So from that corner, Everything. from that corner that we turned on, continuing past, I'll tell you when it stops. Um, uh, it's going to stop just about here-ish. Yeah. Yep. So that that warehouse is, I think, what, what we would own. We would own that warehouse, too. Uh, can we make money off that warehouse? <laughs> We could use it to store product and then use the train to transport product, maybe, or trucks, too, of course. We could get into the logistics business. I don't know. I mean, hey, there are options. How much do they want for that? For that piece, they want $97,612. For that whole thing? Yeah. Even the grass piece? It sounds like a no-brainer because we're gaining a whole warehouse and we could sell it and make a ton of money or we could just rent it or we could use it. There's so many options. Well, Jake, we're all about taking chances and options. It gives and a lot of options. When something comes your way that is basically a gift, you don't pass it up. I'll Going put it back this over way. There. there is another piece on the south of town that's about the same size. It has absolutely nothing on it. It's just grass, undeveloped land, and they want 146000 so... Really? So ninety seven six is not bad for a warehouse that functions on a working train track? Yeah. Well, yeah. I'll tell you what I'm, we're going to do. We're going to look at the logistics here. Okay. We have tractor supply. We have Casey's. We have some homes in the right. area. Would this land, this grass piece here, be considered residential no. or commercial? This piece is all commercial property. Actually, if you want to be technical, it's industrial. But I bet you on this corner lot that they've got a commercial buffer because you don't usually put industrial next to a uh, residential zoning. So they probably have uh -huh. commercial buffer, which is why this is grass. You see how the warehouse is only up to so far in the parking lot? Yep. The rest, the grass area, was probably zoned commercial buffer. So I would imagine, okay. yeah. Can we build on it? We absolutely can. Check by this land. You got it. I'm gonna tell the banker, man, and tell him to transfer the money over. Um, you're down to $363,000, but we, better we do get... officially own that land. It's turned purple. Our farm color yep. is purple, so that's our yep. land now. So we own a warehouse, um, unexpectedly. Unexpectedly. We came here for a lawnmower. And we're leaving with a warehouse. <laughs> but we can now build a commercial something like a restaurant or whatever here on this buffer and more. I bet you we can fit more. But do you want to kind of work on the, the restaurant here? Should we get to work on placing it down? Yeah, let's do it. Let's build a okay. restaurant. Let's build um, a restaurant because this is a booming town and that needs a restaurant. Now, are we going to actually uh, kind of go through and, and give it a, a driveway, a, a parking lot? You want all of that included, probably? Oh, yeah. You got to make it nice for the people. Okay. Then in that case, let me find... Oh, my. Okay. I will tell you this right now. We can do the wet restaurant, but we need to go to the bank. Why? Because the building is $380,000. Oh, really? Mm-hmm. Maybe yeah. we should harvest some corn and then build the building. <laughs> mm, we could, but... I think we would be better off going to the bank because, and hear me out, we go to the bank okay. to get the 380 or let's call it 400,000 to build this place, okay? All right. Whatever that is <clears throat> that we owe the bank, fine. But this restaurant will now make us upwards of $58,000 a month. All right. You deal with the banker. Okay. I'll talk to the bank. And uh, I got to grab a bottle of water from across the street here. We have the money. Another $319,000 loan. We have to remember to pay off that farming loan we yeah. borrowed. All right. So, now, let's go back to our... Indeed. Let's go back and figure out how you want to build. Ooh, There's your restaurant. Yeah. Oh, yeah, baby. So, Look at Let's get that. out and check it out, shall we? Let's go. It's on piers, too. I know. Oh, I, I got so excited. I got the trucks parked in the road here. We're going to have to build our parking lot and our little, all that other decorative stuff yet. But... It's here. That's what yes, matters. Sir. This is our restaurant that we now have right here in town. Oh, yeah. This is nice. This is perfect. This is. So you got seating oh, yeah. all down Be the side and all down the front. And then because we'll have, like, some nice decorations and trees and we'll make that all nice, you know, from yeah. there, this will be really nice to sit. And then on the back side, okay, on this uh -huh. side, we will have parking 
back here. Yep. Because yeah, then the cars, a... the cars can just drive right back through this little section. This will be the driveway that'll come back here and okay. then the park. Yeah, see, I like your plan because that does minimize the intrusiveness of it. It makes it more it. cohesive with the neighborhood, right? Mm -hmm. So I think they'll appreciate it. I like our restaurant. Me too. All right. Welcome to our warehouse, I guess. Don't know what we're going to do with it. We sit on it you, at the moment, I guess. You know what would be funny? What? If we just went ahead and sold it for a half a million dollars. We could. We <laughs> could sell it off and it would delete it, of course. Remove it, but nah. we could. We're, we're going to hold on to it for just a little bit here. We might get into logistics. We don't know. We could I find a way to this... lease it out, maybe. Yeah. Well, but it'd be a shame for it to sit actually, here. The doors are actually really nice. Check this out. Your doors open up, okay? Your truck backs up. He's got the painted lines, right? Nice and easy. And when he gets back yeah. here, we've got dock levelers. Oh, Holds that's up, cool. The little flap folds out, and it goes down, and now your forklift can just right out. That's a heck of a deal. Pretty neat. I like our warehouse. Just for fun. Should we see what it's worth? Just might as well. $525,000. The building is worth $525,000. Oh. Uh, well. <sighs> it's a big old building, That's... and I don't know exactly what to do with it, but it depends on what kind of products we get into. I mean, we might need a lot of logistics if we get into a lot of different business. Why don't we just hold... I mean, the value will still be there. If we ever need to sell, we can. It's Let's not hold the building. for a while. The building's not going to fluctuate in value. The only thing that fluctuates is the land value. So it's going to be worth $525,000. It might drop a little over time, maybe just a bit, but it's still going to be worth quite a bit in the long run, I think. Yeah, let's hold it. All right. I mean, you know I like cash. Cash is king. Yeah. And I, But I'm not worried right now. We still have crops to put in. Cash right. is king, but assets are a pretty great thing, too. Yes, they are. Am I driving this This is a time? great asset to have. I think we just need to find out how to make it make a little money. That would be nice. I would love to see it generate some income. Now, let's just take a look at our investments that we have so far. We have the tower. Makes us $480 yes. a month. Correct. The restaurant should bring in around 58000 a month. Um, Yeah, it depends on the month and stuff, but yeah. Yeah, I know that's going to fluctuate. So if we could find somebody just to lease the warehouse from us, you know, for logistics. Right. That'd be perfect, don't you think? I do, I do. What would be a, name a price, what would be a price? I don't know. I don't know. I'd like to get 30000 a month, but I know okay. that's asking a lot. Well, yeah, I don't know exactly what we're going to do. Um, I'm just trying to look through and find some solutions, but I don't have a good one right off the top of my head here <clears throat> does that work yes i think that's good and that leaves all that front area where we can make that a really nice spot for for people yeah that's cool it needs more trees it does need in more the front trees. area i agree i insist on more trees okay how fast can you make a tree grow i can make a tree grow pretty fast what kind of tree do you want oaks uh, well let me tell you what i got how about that all right I can do you a cypress. I can do you an elm. I can do you a service berry, a downy service berry. I can do a pagoda. Um, I can do a shag bark hickory. Hmm. Um, I can do a birch. I can do oak. I can do oak. willow. Oak. I can do s <clears throat> pine and poplar and spruce. Okay, here's the plan. So that's everything. Starting right where you are, Capiche. Where am I? No, I want to leave that in case we got it developed. I'm, I'm looking. I was looking at you. Uh -oh. So oak trees you were talking about, small, medium, large. Uh, medium. They look great. Do you like your oak trees? I do. I like my oak trees. Yeah, they look great. And Perfect. let's see. One last finish and touch. I mean, there's a lot of stuff we can do to these. But I think it would be nice to... What is oh! That is cool. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. What is cool? Oh. Um, we might have to do that. Wow. It cost me $10,000 to show you, I guess. What is you that? Want to see? Uh, gate. <laughs> gate? Yeah, it's a gate. Is it cool? Yeah. All right. 10000 Go for it. 
Line it up with the trees. Sure. Ballpark. Mm -hmm. Okay, pull around there to that main drive and look at that big old gate. Oh, that's just a gander. Oh, cool. Ah. Oh. <laughs> How are people going to get in? Well, we'll open the gate, obviously. Yeah, but when the store is closed, you'll... Uh... Close it up. That's right. Yeah. Are you building some fence? Oh, just a hair there. Just to try and... That looks cool. Make this gate look a little more proper. Even it out. Even it out. Take some on the other side, too. Uh-huh. And then... Where should I send that one? Just kind of same? Yeah. Okay. Let me figure that out. It would have been something ballpark like that. Oh, it didn't place. Yeah, that'll work. Oh, we can plant some pretty flowers there. Woohoo! Oh, you know, we should actually have a fence between the warehouse and the restaurant, though. Legitimately. Yeah, legitimately. Now we're That's good. Much, much better. So we'll uh, we'll continue to improve this restaurant. We'll do more landscaping and flowers and like all kinds of stuff of, over time. But for now, this is a start, and uh, yeah. it's open, and it'll make us money. I can't believe we bought this lot and that warehouse, warehouse. for ninety-seven thousand. I know ninety-seven thousand. And that warehouse is five hundred thousand dollars in value. Love it. I do too. Were they going bankrupt or what? Musta. We got a good deal on that one, boys, and the restaurants in town. I think we ought to be getting back home, unload our lawnmower, and uh, probably better speed on over to harvest season to make some money. What do you say? Yeah, we probably better. It's October. Is our stuff ready to harvest? October 1st. In September, we made another $31,000 is what we made. An extra $31,000. Hey, hey, let's go check on corn. Okay. Oh, it's a beautiful morning. Oh, my headlights are still on on my truck. I better jump That's in here and shut battery. those off. Hey. You okay? You, why, what are you throwing your truck for? I don't know. You want to feel like Harry Potter real quick? Why? Just get in your truck. I'm da, in da, da, Oh, sorry. Da, 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 da. You're heavy. <laughs> da, 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 da. You know that scene <laughs> where, where he flies into the tree and he's like, oh, no, the tree. Clunk. Yeah. <laughs> All right. This will All include right. the Harry what Potter about? experience. All right. We better, we Did better I get my lights off? No, they're still on. How about now? No. I'm leaving them on then. Okay. We got to go get the combine and everything ready. It's probably harvest time. Or darn near, at least. We got to check our fields, I suppose. I suppose. Probably better. Looks like our two fields are ready to harvest, I think. We'll find out. The one to the right is not. No. Nope. The one to the left. Yep. I see gold corn, sir. That is ready. All right. There oh, it is. Yeah. Oh, I say because we planted this first, we just will get it. go ahead and get started on it. I think we shall. We need to get the combine going, don't we? Yeah, we could drive all the way over there and look at that other, but what's the point? We can't do it until nah. this is done. Yeah, and we did this first anyway, so. All right. What do you want to start with? Uh, let's go all the way around to that first, very first piece we planted. By the other highway? Yeah. Okay. Um, you take you take the combine, I'll follow you with the semi. You betcha. You might have to get the semi out of here for the combine to move. We'll see. No, I can make it. Oh, look at this, Pete. Oh, my God. Pop a pickle. Are you excited for your first Pete's. harvest? Yeah, let's do it. I'm excited. All right. Let's go let's get it. We have a lot of corn to do. All I right, mean, boss I'm... man. I'm ready to get rolling. You're right. I'm coming. Okay. Looking forward to when we have uh, GPS, that's for sure. Why? You know I'm a fan. Because it makes life so much easier. Hey, how fast well, do you think I should be harvesting? Well, as you can tell, I mean, in real life, you can tell by the sound yeah. of the combine. Is it taking the crop okay? It's running really good at six. Seems to want to go at six. Okay. And in real life, you would get out and see if right. any kernels are escaping, and if they are, and then you'd slow down. Capiche? You got it. We're doing just fine so far. I'll let you know how full I get here with how many bushels after my very first little pass. Our yield right now is average. We're not getting average. an above average yield. We're getting an average yield. But mm. remember, we <clears throat> did not own the fields prior, so we did not get to do all of the work necessary. That's so true. So when now that we own the fields, that is only going to improve because we can do the work that's necessary to improve it. But I gotta figure out what to do next. Uh, I gotta turn around. I got 8,000 no, hold on. Scratch that. I got 80... Hold on. Excuse me? All right. 
I got 82,799 bushels. Does that sound right? In your hopper? <laughs> yeah. But that's impossible. I thought so, too. <laughs> okay, yeah. so clearly that conversion is not working correctly on that mod. Um, no. So I'll just tell you the percentage instead. The percentage uh -huh. is about 17% full. That sounds more like it. One pass. Oh, look at that golden corn just waving in the wind saying, Pick me! Pick me! <laughs> Are you going all the way around the outside? Um, well, I was going to kind of do a little down and back here to give you a pad on the top side. Well, I'm sitting here where you've already harvested because my trailer was sticking out on the road, so... Yeah, I'm just trying to make sure that this pad is big enough for us to do whatever we got to do on. We got to get you in this combine at some point. Oh, well, I'll get in it. Let's try it out. I crawl in my bunk and take a nap while you're uh, loading mm. my trailer. I'm sure. We have a lot of land, and we might have enough to buy another combine or something. I wonder if there's any for sale. Oh, there's an old 886. <laughs> nice. No combine. Some train cars for sale. An old John Deere hay wagon for sale. But nothing we need. You missed the reel. Well, yeah. I'm having a time here. That's, that's where I got turned off. <clears throat> so now I'm going to have to get over here and... Ah! I'll just come back and clean that up. I'm going to straighten this out. It's going to bother me. I'll get yep, it. Yep, sometimes. Sometimes you just got to turn around and come back and get that one. Otherwise, you'll be doing it every round. Yep. Nice saying. It's pretty easy to measure your rows with corn. Oh, look at that beautiful golden harvest right there. Yes, sir. Some sweet, sweet money. You want to take the combine for a spin? How long does it take to fill this truck? It'll take a while. Yeah? It ain't It ain't nowhere near full yet. I suppose I could run the combine for a minute. Oh, take her for a spin. She's ready for you. This is a nice truck. Wow. You mind if I, uh, if I do a little landscaping order in for the bar down there while you're... No, go working? ahead. Okay. <clears throat> You go I'm going to go it. online and see what I can find for our restaurant and see what we can put together. It's definitely a big airplane door. A hangar door? <laughs> hangar door. There has got to be a control somewhere, but I am not having any luck finding it. Well, I'll tell you what. I'm on my way right now, and I'll help you look for it. All right. And then, whenever we next get down to the restaurant, you should see our uh, whatever changes have been made down there. Nothing super crazy, but it looks nice. Usually the button for the door is next to the door. I got it. You got it? Yeah. I just nice. was in the wrong place. Well, I'm just about there. Good, because you have to see if this combine's going to clear to get in here. I'm pulling into the farm now. I um, think I'll make it. Oh, well, I see what you mean. Huh. Well, I think you might just barely make it. Maybe. Maybe. Go ahead and give it a try. I'll let you know otherwise. Keep her going. Oh, man. That is something. You're gonna maybe just barely, and I'm talking barely, make it. Well, yeah, you're gonna make it, but it is inches for sure. Well, actually, that's not that bad. You're good. Yeah, because <clears throat> it's you have actually usually, you might even have up to a foot or so. Oh, no, that's actually close, mind. but it did fit. Right. That's what matters. Okay. I'm just gonna figure out where we go to work on things around here. I have options. You wanna hear them? Okay. What's the options? Right now, we have the John Deere STS 9650. Um, that's the engine is the 9650. It's 241 horsepower. I can upgrade the engine to the 9750, which is 323 horsepower. Or I could do the 9750 bullet rotor, which is 341 horsepower. Or I could keep going. There's more options yet. But know oh. that that's either ten or $18,000, depending on which option. Mm. So you're well, at 241 works. horsepower right now. I can yeah. get you up to 323 or 341, or I can keep going, but it just gets more expensive from there. So. Well, let's try 323. Okay, so $10,000 to do that. Got it? Yep. Well, we're making that at the well, restaurant. We're fine. We'll be all right. All okay. right. Okay. I changed her out. All right, we're going to go back out there and try it again, I guess. No, we'll see how it runs. I think part of our issue was our header is our header was probably a little big, maybe, but I think more so we put this Mauer, Mauer XL um, extension on top on the tank. Yeah. And I think that extra weight of that grain is probably just we needed to upgrade the engine for that, most likely. Kind of nice having our own shop. Uh, yeah. Yeah, it is. I'm rolling back that way. 
I just installed a display in our grain facility that will now uh, very easily tell us how much we have of what in each bin. Mm -hmm. And I only did that because I figured it'd be easier to have a display in the game than to have you go into the menu every time to look. But yeah. it's also there. So. so that's where the money went. That is. I'm always watching the account. <laughs> that's a pretty good chunk. It was. Don't even tell me. But they had to, you know, install a system that would determine the exact quantity of everything in the bins and monitor it. And mm -hmm. Does it tell us what the moisture is? Yeah, we'll find out. Well, that car behind you has been impatient. Oh, patience is a virtue. That's all I can tell them. And I'm going to sneak in front of them. <laughs> now they're behind me. <laughs> Well, I got a brand new engine in my combine harvester. And it costed us $10,000. And it cost us $10,000. Well, moment of truth. We're going to find out if that thing runs any better or not. Yep. I sure hope it does. Otherwise, we're going to have to spend more money. Or just deal with it. Yeah, we might just deal with it. <clears throat> I've dealt with worse. Yeah. As long as it can get us by this harvest season or something, we'll see. Yeah. We got a lot of corn to go through. Can you tell? Any better or worse already? Well, it's better. But I'm on a, just on a side hill. Mm -hmm. It looks like it has more pep to its step. <clears throat> it feels like it has more pep to its step. <laughs> it's six miles an hour. Yeah, that's good. Multiply that by however many miles we have to cover in our fields. Well, I tell you this. So far, what we have pulled in off of this piece of land here... And I'm talking mm -hmm. the whole <clears throat> chunk um, plot that we bought. Uh, we have harvested six thousand nine hundred dollars worth of uh, of product estimated so far. Really? That's nope. not too bad. Nope. Just a little shy of nine or seven thousand so far. So we've almost paid for that engine change already. Mm-hmm. Well, for not such a very big piece, it sure takes a while to get across it. <laughs> And yeah, I missed the row. Yeah. Well, I'm laughing because this is the smallest little chunk we have of, like, all. And yep. uh, you're saying it takes a while to get across. Well, imagine that other field, the one that's not even ready yet. Oh, I know. I have a feeling we're going to need to buy a second combine this season. I have one, too. Which means we'll probably need to sell right away just to get the funds, you know, at least some mm -hmm. crop. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my oh, goodness. Oh, my goodness. What? Okay, a John Deere 9650 STS, ex almost like what we had, doesn't have the tank extension on the top. It's mm -hmm. $55,900 right now. What did we pay for this one? 132 Yeah, yep. And then plus an additional ten to change the engine afterwards, which this one would need the engine change too, so add an additional ten. <clears throat> We're at $65,900 to get that combine. Not get including it. a price for a header, but that's a good deal, right? Yeah, get it, get it. Do you want the extension, the grain extension, or not? Go ahead and just do the engine upgrade. I'll just do the regular extension, not the huge one. How about that? We'll see if that's better. That'll work. Okay. Okay. So in total, that's uh, sixty-eight thousand nine hundred. Go to ahead. Get that. Okay. Wow, they had a nice deal for sale there. Yeah, they did. Um, they didn't have a header on sale though, so I'm going to buy that fresh, full price. 30, or no, that header is $53,000, almost as much as the combine. Is this wow. a special header or what? <clears throat> no, that's just what the header cost. Unless, let me look here. I could do a New Holland, one that was on sale. Want a New Holland header on a John Deere combine? Not particularly. Well, then it's looking like you're going to have to spend $53,000. Go ahead and spend it. We'll sell it if I have to. Okay. I can also just lease it, I guess. But No, I just buy it. All righty. <laughs> that hurt. Hundred fifty-seven thousand dollars left in the bank. Yeah, but our productivity <laughs> is gonna go way up. We have we're gonna have two combines moving. That's a pretty good deal. Except I'm an idiot and I still had things set at tractor supply. Oh, I'll fix so it. So that's where they delivered it. Uh, nah. I'll have them. I'll have them fix it. It's fine. There we go. Now it's at John Deere. You want me to just start on this little piece over here by the by the shop? You can if you want to. I think I might as. Well, I mean, I could just come to you. It doesn't really matter. I don't care. Well, I'm almost, I'm almost done with this. Okay. Well, then I will start over here. I don't think you'll fill the hopper off that piece anyway, do you? No. 
Well, I would say that. Yeah. And I'm at it's 97%. A it's a maybe, but it's a probably no. We'll see. I'm at 97% right now. I'm going to have to go dump this. Well, the good news is I'm running our combine we just bought, and uh, it's running good. You're getting close to being done on that little spot. Yeah. Well, I hope. About the time I say that, you know, then I bail into it, and that's a lot bigger than you think. <laughs> What's left, anyway? Yeah. I get that. I'm starting to fight that myself right now. I'm looking at what I have to do left, and I do not have nowhere near the capacity to do it. I'm going to be full before I get done. Well, adding the horsepower darn sure helped me out. It's, uh, it makes a big difference. I have the same combine, really, and uh, we did the same upgrade to this one, and it's running a lot better than it was, or, you know, yours was. Yeah. I also did put the smaller grain extension on this combine because of how close it was to fitting in that barn. Mm -hmm. um, so if we do want to make that change, we can, but we know the other one fits, so it's not the end of the world. I just hold slightly less crop than you, I guess. And so far, we have harvested an estimated $14,500 worth of crop off of our land. Doing pretty good. Not bad at all. Well, I'm full. As full as I'm going <clears> to <throat> get it, that's for sure. Well, hang on. I'm just... I'll head that way here with the truck in a minute. I'm... You almost uh, finished up on your combining? On this little piece, yeah. You want to go meet me on my little piece, or are you just going to keep on moving out of this part? Because I can probably finish that little piece if you want me to just steal the truck real quick. Oh, I can, yeah, go ahead if you want to. Okay. I can, I, yeah, because I can drive this over there with, I can keep combining. I'm only at 46%. Yeah, you just keep combining and I'll, uh, I'll steal the truck and I'll finish up that little cross the train track. Yeah. And then I'll come over on the other side of the tracks and help you out. Okay. All right. I'm unloading into the trailer. It's probably going right. to get it to be near a full load, I would imagine. Well, if you get full, just take it down and dump it in the bins. You betcha. Yep, that is pretty much a full load right there. Uh, figure up how many dollars is in one full load. Okay, one moment. Well, hmm, that's going to be hard for me to figure it. Um, let's assume you have, well, I don't know how much you have in your tank over there, I guess. Well, it might tell you when you unload it. Well, it, it, not if I go to storage. I take it to storage, it's just going to store I can tell uh, you we've we've harvested sixteen thousand dollars worth of product. Okay, so whatever is left in your tank, try to estimate what that's worth, minus it off, and that's what a trailer's worth. Yeah. So you've got what fifty percent in a tank, sixty percent in a tank. Mm, right now I have sixty-one percent. Okay, and this trailer took one, two, three, what maybe four more times to fill. How many? Uh, let's see. I only dumped in it twice. And I've dumped in it twice, so four. So oh, you've dumped it, in it twice? I've dumped in it twice. You dumped in it twice. It takes four times to fill the trailer, and you have no. almost a full one of the, like a, a full fifth is what you, you're carrying, right? Yep. So <sighs> you don't ask me to do the math, but figure that out. There you go. 16,000 minus whatever much your tank is worth. I don't know. But that's ballpark where she's at. I don't know, but I just thought to myself I'm being pretty silly here. I was going to try to do a full round with a tank at 63%. I'd have been way out in the middle of the field with a full tank and no place to put it. Well, 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 Mr. Silly. All right, we've got the front tank unloading now. The back one's already done. And, yep, it does tell me that we have... So our... Uh, the monitor that I installed tells me how much we have in there, but that's pretty much all it says. Mm -hmm. That's what I wanted to know. We've uh, we've done pretty good so far to start on harvest. This uh, estimates we're about nine thousand dollars away from paying off our input costs on the field so far. We are. So we're fixing we've the hit. Almost... We're... Go ahead. We're fixing to hit the uh, profit zone then, as far yes. as inputs go. Yes, yes, that is correct. Okay. But I got this little snippet done over here. I'll sneak my way your way. All right. I think I'm going to run another, at least another hopper pull here because because I got time. You betcha. <clears throat> Want to know the good news? What's that? Our headers fit through our gates. That's, that's a good thing. That's a good thing. Would be really annoying if it wasn't or if they didn't. 
Yeah. <clears throat> you know, when you're running a real combine, let's say you're going down the center of the field, mm -hmm. opening it up or busting a way through, you can get mesmerized so easy in corn. Yeah. And then the next thing you know, you're way off track from where you were. <laughs> but I'm out here trying nose. to, I'm trying to open this piece up and, oh man, i tell you what, it's, it's mesmerizing, no doubt. Just watching the corn shake? Yeah. Well, it's a good time. Grand time. Good times, good times. You know, towards the silos um, over here, there's actually an open fence, an open gate to get in and out of this field. Oh, really? Mm-hmm. I opened it up before we ever even got out into the field. Wow. I haven't opened up the corn area, but you know what I mean. I'm working yeah. on that now. So I don't know how much farther I'm going to get. I'm almost 90% full. Darn mesmerizing corn. I know. I think I'm going to just ever so barely get trapped in the corn. Yeah? Yeah, I need just a little bit further in front of me, and I, I don't know if I'm going to get it. We'll see. I'm trying. But I'm at 99%. I'm not going to get it. Nope. Ah. Well, it happens. Don't you know? Man, not that far either. Howdy. Howdy. One time about lining that up perfect. Wow. Good job, Jake. It did me a little U-turn right into an unload perfectly. <clears throat> now, I can do that in real life, but I haven't perfected it with this yet. <laughs> Go get there. We've actually gotten through a lot more corn than I was expecting us to get through by now, so it's a good thing. Ah. Did you mess up? Yeah, it's all right, though. Nothing I can't fix whenever I come back. Truth in that. I'm going to open up a path along this fence line that will let us take our field to the uh, to the silos and back instead of the highway. We don't have to deal with traffic. All right. I like that plan. I just heard an eagle? Some kind of bird. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Yeah, over here where I'm combining, I guess. I don't know. Well, you ain't too far away from me because I, I see know. your name. I see that. You're right there. I just, I just came up the waterway and decided I'd just split this field in half right here. Well, why not? Might as well. Well, maybe. Unless I lost my way. You're good. You're moving it up. Oh, There's I got exit. it. Right down in front of me is the gate I was talking about in and out of here. Okay. Where are you at? Uh, the behind you. I'm not going to back into you, am I? No. Because I'm going to go back down this waterway. Have fun. Make it, uh, Easier to see what we're doing. Well, we made enough progress for you for today. Yeah, I'm gonna probably. Oh. No, I'm almost full here. I don't know about you, but it's about 1.30 in the game here. I gotta run into lunch and the house. Give me a sandwich, some chips. All right. You want anything? No, I'm gonna have to pull out and uh, go take care of things at the uh, other farm real quick. Okay. So I'm just gonna well, finish I'll feeling this you know. and. So far, we have earned ourselves about $30,000, roughly, and uh, we that means we are now breaking even. So we've, we've uh, for this piece of land, we have now covered our input costs. Cool. So, love to I see like it. this. So the rest, of, the rest of that corn that you see, that's profit. 